Okay, the challenge here for me is, as always, how to explain things in simple English language rather than using specific medical words which many people cannot understand. Let me know if I use too many difficult words. Okay, so three chest X-rays are in front of us. The one in the middle is normal. The one on your right hand side is an example of restrictive lung disease. And the one on your left is an example of obstructive lung disease. Under a wider umbrella, many lung conditions are often classified as obstructive lung diseases despite of, despite of having different underlying causes and many are classified as obstructive lung diseases again despite of having many different underlying causes uh, both can create immense suffering for the patients now look at the normal x-ray first in the middle and then compare it with the one on your right hand side this x-ray shows a reduced lung volume increased lung markings and a distorted architecture on the normal x-ray in the middle you can see well delineated pleural outlines on all sides on all sides and this is true even for the blood vessels that are visible through lung parenchyma and there's a sort of well-balanced usual pattern of lucencies and opacities visible in both lungs on this x-ray there is somewhat beaded somewhat beaded and irregular outlines the mediastinum seems to be widened as compared to this normal mediastinum including the uh, transverse thoracic uh, diameter of heart and there are increased lung markings which are also seem to be thickened and if you look closely there are some cystic changes throughout both lungs but they're more sort of visible more apparent uh, on the lung basis especially on the uh, left side here presence of such a small cyst is known as honeycombing which is a well-known feature of fibrosis this is a classical picture of pulmonary fibrosis which is classified as a restrictive lung disease the lung interstitium in this patient has become hardened and the elastic fibers are losing their elasticity overall the interstitium and elastic fibers are shrinking in size resulting in decreased lung volume as you can see here and a sort of distorted architecture this is a restrictive disease because not enough air can easily enter into the lungs because of the resistance created by stiffened hardened and shrunken lung, lung parenchyma the x-ray on your left hand side on the other hand shows increased lung volume decreased lung markings and most importantly both hemidiaphragms have lost their usual uh, dome shape and are somewhat flattened known as flattened hemidiaphragms so those who have some interest in radiology will know that this is a classical picture of COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease usually caused by smoking but rarely can also be caused by alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency in such patients there is a damage to al alveolar walls because of cigarette smoking which results in functionless air spaces in lungs which sometimes can become as big as your fist lungs become saggy and loose if these are the right words to use patients can breathe in but fail to breathe all the air out bronchial branches tend to obstruct outflow of air and that is why such conditions are classified as obstructive lung disease they obstruct the expiratory airflow or outflow of air from the lungs in simple words and you would logically understand one simple thingy unlike obstructive lung diseases which includes asthma and COPD among many and which show a normal or increased total lung capacity restrictive uh, disease is associated with is associated with decreased total lung capacity restrictive lung disease which can also be caused by obesity but if caused by parenchymal lung disease is accompanied by reduced gas exchange which may be marked clinically by desaturation after exercise in certain restrictive lung conditions oxygen therapy does not oxygen therapy does not help hope the video is of some educational value for those who seek thank you very much